Okay, so what do we have here? Well, this is a two-variable inequality or two-variable linear inequality. So the problem is 2x plus y is less than 1. How do we solve this? Well, this is what this little video is about. If you think you could do this problem, I would say pause the video and do this. Uh, unfortunately, you can't put your answer into the comment section because the answer is going to be a graph, okay? The answer here is going to be a graph. It's a little bit of a hint. So if you're like, oh, okay, that's some sort of graph. Well, yes, it is. But uh, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're absolutely gonna need to know how to uh, handle these type of problems, uh, two variable inequalities, very, very important stuff. So I'm gonna go through the exact steps how to solve this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in math. I'm speaking to all of you out there, especially those of you that think you're bad at math or you're failing in math. But what you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of a math course, check out my Math Help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will have a huge impact on your ability to learn mathematics. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a math section on it. I'm talking about things like the SAT, ACT, ASVAB, GRE, GMAT, maybe a teacher certification exam. Most of you out there don't realize you're going to be running into an exam like this, like a placement exam, entrance exam, certification exam. Anyways, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, definitely check out my middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers. If you need math notes, I hope you don't because you've got to be taking your own great math notes. But in the meantime, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps me out big time. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the solution right away to this, but what I am going to show you is the procedure, okay? And I'm just kind of abbreviating. This is not like full notes, but I'm going to uh, kind of tell you how you, we get to the answer. And then maybe if you want to try this on your own, go ahead and uh, see how well you can do. Uh, but here is the basic procedure to um, uh, solve a two-variable linear inequality. Okay, so the first thing is we need to graph this line. So you're like, what do you talk about line? Well, we have 2x plus y is less than 1. So you need to be able to graph the line 2x plus y is equal to 1. All right, so you got to be able to handle linear equations. Uh, hopefully you remember all that good stuff like y equals mx plus b and how to uh, pl uh, find the x, y intercepts, all this stuff. You gotta be great at knowing how to graph lines. If, you, if uh, you're struggling here with graphing lines, then you're gonna have a tough time with this topic. So that's just a little heads up right there. I'm gonna give you some uh, guidance on how you can improve on all this stuff here in a second, but let's go through this procedure. So the first thing is we need to know how to graph this line, 2x plus y is equal to one. The second thing is we need to know are we going to draw a straight line when we actually graph this line or a dotted line? I'm going to talk more about this uh, in a second. And then the third thing is we need to test a point. Now, you could test any point, and the points I'm talking about is some sort of xy point on the xy plane. Always test the point 0, 0 unless the uh, line goes through the origin. We'll talk more about that in a second, but so I'm just going to put down test at 0, 0 as this the, is the easiest point to test. Now, based upon the result of testing, you're going to uh, know where the true and false region is. You want to tr uh, shade the true region. Okay, so uh, some of you out there might be saying, okay, this doesn't make any sense to me. Just show me how to do this, and I will in just one second. But hopefully, a lot of you out there are like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember this. So if this kind of jogs your memory, go ahead and uh, pause the video and see if you can actually do this, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get to this. And remember, there's a lot of little sub-skills uh, uh, here. So if you don't know how to graph lines, then again, you're going to have to make a note. And uh, this is a whole topic in and of itself to know how to do this stuff. All right, but let's go ahead and see how this works. And this is, again, very, very important in algebra. So here we have 2x plus y is less than or equal to 1. Uh, the easiest way to uh, graph this line is to go ahead and move this 2x to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. So I have y is less than negative 2x plus 1. Hopefully you understand this, okay? If you don't uh, know what I'm doing here, and you're like, well, I'm going to graph this line using the x and y intercepts, 
that's fine as long as you can graph it. I'm going to show you the graph here in a second. So now I have y is less than negative 2x plus 1, okay? So I'm not going to think of this less than here for a second. I'm just going to kind of get that out of my, 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 uh, out of my brain. I'm going to just think of the line y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. So how do I graph this? Well, remember, well, hopefully you remember, this is in y equals mx plus b form. All right, so this is the y-intercept. One is the y-intercept, so this would be like one right here on the y-axis right there. And then my slope is negative two. Okay, that's my m, negative two. So that's negative two over one, right? So that's equal to negative two. So this means I'm gonna go down two over one, okay? Because it's negative. So this is down two. This is my rise over the run. Again, if you don't understand what I'm doing, I don't want to turn this video into a complete full lesson on graphing lines because that's a huge topic. So let me just get stop real quick right now because a lot of students struggle with this because they, they struggle with graphing lines. A couple of recommendations. One, I have a ton of videos on how to graph lines, uh, graphing linear equations to be more technical about it on my YouTube channel. But I would strongly uh, suggest that you check out like my pre-algebra, algebra 1 course, or even algebra 2 course because uh, linear uh, inequalities are in all of those courses, okay? Well, especially Algebra 1 and uh, Algebra 2. Matter of fact, let me just kind of a modify my suggestion. I would check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 or College Algebra courses, okay? All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and just review this. I'm going to start with the y-intercept 1, and then I have a uh, slope of negative 2, so I'm going to go down 2 over 1. So I'm ready to kind of graph this line, and you're like, okay, just let's go ahead and graph the line right there, but that's not what I need to do, okay? Just not quite yet. I need, the, I have the two points where I am going to graph the line, so I'm going to graph the line. Well, I'm doing all the work to graph the line, but this, the second thing here is I need to know, is it going to be a straight line or a dotted line? So let's go and answer that question right now. If it's uh, if the your inequality is less than or greater than, okay, it's going to be a dotted line. If it's uh, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it will be a solid line. Okay, I'll talk more about why this is here in a second. So in our problem, you can see we're dealing with a less than, so it's going to be a dotted line. That's what we're going to do. So. Here it is right here, okay? I kind of did all this work in advance. So again, I uh, have my inequality. I'm going to graph it. So I kind of set this up in y equals mx plus b form. I thought about this, and then when I was going to graph the line, I know that this is less than, so that means I'm going to make this a dotted line. Okay, so what's next on our checklist? Well, the last thing on our checklist is to go ahead and test that point zero, 0, that's going to tell me the true and false region, and then we're going to shade. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at that. All right, so we're going to test the point zero, 0, What does that mean? Well, we're going to go to the actual coordinate, 0, 0. X is 0, Y is 0. That is actually the origin, okay? That's right here where the X and Y axis meet. That's the point zero, 0, Now, if you notice, that point is kind of like underneath the line, okay? It's underneath our line. So we're going to test that point. So what that means is that X is 0, Y is 0. We're going to replace this Y and this X with 0, okay? So we're going to replace Y with 0, and we're going to replace, I'm sorry, we're going to replace this uh, Y with 0, this X with 0, okay? If I misspoke, please forgive me. But anyways, you can kind of see what I'm doing. This is Y, this is X. So this Y is 0, this X is 0. So we're placing both of these variables with 0. So I'm going to have 0 is less than negative 2 times 0 plus 1. So what's negative 2 times 0? That's, of course, is 0. So we end up with 0 is less than 1. So this is the statement that we have. And what ends up happening is you need to determine whether that is true or false. So when we plugged in 0 into our inequality, we're testing uh, uh, this region, okay, this bottom region, whether it's if it's true. Okay, now here's how it works. Uh, one region is true, one is false. We just don't know which is which. We don't know if it's true over here, or is, uh, and this is false. So uh, it's, one side of this line is the true side, the other side is the false line. We just don't know if it's this is true, or this is true, this is false, or this is false. So we test a point. So when I plugged in 0, 0, I got this point here. 0 is less than 1. So is that true? Is 0 
less than one, well, of course we know that's true. That is true. So zero, zero is uh, living in the true region. Okay, so it's not false. That's true. So the other side by default is false. So uh, what we need to do is we shade the true region. And there's a number of different ways you can do that. You can kind of draw, put a little like uh, hashes like this. And of course, if you have color pencils or nice, you always should be working with pencil in terms of mathematics. You kind of do it like this. And this is the solution to this inequality. So let's talk about this uh, dotted line, uh, the difference between the dotted line and the full line like, uh, let's say like this. Let's say we had a line like so, and here's the dotted line. What's the difference there? Well, uh, the difference is this. If we had a solid line, all the points that are actually on the line would be part of the solution as well. But the, any point that's on this line will not, be, uh, not create a true statement. Okay, so points that are actually on the line are not part of the true region. Okay, if it's a solid line, like a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, all the points that are on that line are a part of the true region. Uh, region. Okay, that's a very, very uh, critical little detail that you need to know. But this is a basic example of how to um, solve a two-variable inequality. So how did you do? Well, if you knew all this stuff, well, that is impressive. I'm going to give you an awesome, happy face, an A++. I'm going to give you 120% and multiple stars. I'm almost tempted, if I was your math teacher, just to say, you know what, just Go home for the rest of the year. I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you're watching that guy on YouTube, uh, but that is outstanding, okay? You definitely need to know how to solve these problems, all right? So again, if you're struggling with how to graph lines or any of the algebra stuff, well, you need to know that because uh, inequalities are going to get more and more complex. You're, you're going to see them over and over again in Algebra 1, Algebra 2, College Algebra. So uh, it's not one of these topics you're like, oh, I don't understand it, and I hope I never see it again. No, you're going to see more of it, actually. So fix what you got to fix, and then that's the thing about math, okay? If you're struggling in math, just identify what you don't know, and then start working on things one little skill at a time. So hopefully this video clears some things up. Again, if you um, uh, need to uh, work on this stuff, strongly suggest my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course. And if this video helps you out, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.